Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how the login form system works, how the user can receive the email with the OTP code, how the user can reset his or her password. Okay, so this is the demo. So let's go ahead to register. So this is my email address and I have to key in my password as 123 register. You see that register successfully, OTP sent to this email account and you will direct okay go to this verification account so let's go ahead to my email account and you will receive a OTP verifications dear user your verificate OTP code is this OTP so I'm going to copy this and paste it over here so if I just enter the wrong OTP code and I click verify you see that invalid OTP code therefore I have to key in the correct OTP code which is matched to this OTP code right so verify it verify account done you may sign in now okay so now I can sign in my email key in my password log in you will see log in successfully if I just key in the wrong password log in you will see email or password invalid please try again if the user forgot his password user may click this link and enter your email account to recover your password so enter this email account you will see success message email sent out kindly check your email inbox so let's go back our email account and you will receive another email which is recover your password the user will receive a request to reset your password so this is the URL, so let's go ahead to open it and reset your password. Therefore, I can key in my new password. Okay, I enter my new password as 12345. So go ahead to reset. Your password has been successful reset. So now if I just enter my email address and the password. So this is the old password. If I just click log in. You will see an email or password invalid because I've just recovered, okay, reset my new new password. So therefore, my new password is 12345. So let's go ahead to log in again. Log in successfully. Alright, so this is the demo and how the login form system works. And now I'm gonna show you guys step by step with the free source code. Link in the description, you may grab it now. Alright, so first of all, go to this git repository that i'll provide this link under my video descriptions so you might go to download so i'm going to download zip and open this and go to my download folder and right click your mouse extract all and select the locations so i'm going to select inside my xam hddoc and this folder login system and extract Alright, so after I extract it, I'm running, okay, open with my text editor, which is the Visual Studio Code. Okay, so here is all the source code and close this, close this and this. So go to your PHP My Admin and click new, go to SQL, create a new database. Login system. So I've created the login system, and after created the login system, let's go back to our text editor. So this is all the my SQL the comma command. So let's go ahead to copy grab it and go to this database SQL and direct paste over here and click go. You see that it's created the table. So refresh it and here's the login and we got the table as the login and we got the data, email, password and status. Okay, so let's go back to this email, the this text editor. So first of all, this is the index.php and I'm gonna open, I'm gonna copy the path and open the new tab. So change this hashtag to localhost. 
So here's it. And but before we move to the register, first thing first, you have to go to this recover password.php and scroll down. So over here, you have to put your email account. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this and giving my email account and here's your email password. So copy this email account and paste it here as your email account. So I'm gonna zoom it a bit so that you guys can see clearly. Right, so first change this recover password to your email account, username, password, and email account. Right, so this is the first step. And after done for this, go to register.php. Okay, doing the same way also replace by this your email account, your email password. So put your email password and this your email account. Right, put it over here. And next step, go to reset password and check. Alright, after replace your email account and your email password, make sure this email is exit. So we can back to our Google and open a new tab and go to this email account that this email account is used to send out an email. So in my case, I'm using this email. So go to your account and go to security. All right, make sure you, make sure you set this settings. Otherwise, it's not going to be sent out the email. So find for this less secure app access. Make sure you turn it on. Right, so in my case, I will say, you will see that it's on. So make sure you set it as on. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh. Okay, now it's on and refresh this again and go to register account and key in the email and type the password. So this time I'm gonna say five register. You will see that register successful. OTP sent to this email account. And let's go ahead to my email. Right, and you receive a random OTP code. So grab this. Sorry. So copy this. Paste over here. As usual, if you just enter the wrong password, sorry, the wrong OTP, it's going to pop up a message. So enter the correct OTP, verify account done. You may sign in now. So key in five as the password, log in, log in successful. So you can also by clicking forgot your password and enter your email address, recover, success email, email has been sent out. So let's go back and you see that you will receive an email, a URL. So this time you can reset a new password. So I'm going to say that uh, 2021. Okay, reset it. Your password has been successfully reset. Enter my email address, 2021 as the new password. Log in, log in successfully. So if I just enter the old password, which is 9, sorry, which is 5, log in again, email or password invalid, please try again. All right, so this is how the login form system works and all the source code, all the PHP Mueller, you can grab it under the link description, which is did git repository. All right, only few step you will have to do, which is the first step, hey, change your email account, your password, email account for this, for both of these two PHP file. And the last step is, which you need to setting your email account to this less secure. Right, so to this, after you're done for this few step and you are ready to go to build your own login form system with full of the validations. All right, that's it for this tutorial and hopefully you uh, can solve this problem by your own and learn something from this tutorial. So I see you guys in the next one.